What's up guys, Jeremy here with Cinephore, just week 12 of the vlog. We're starting off the week with a really cool shoot for an actual drummer. We're gonna do a music video, it's all story based, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. It's always fun to work with musicians, I love it. It's a big collaboration, we always have a great time. So we're gonna be up all night shooting, let's cut some b-roll. Getting that shot. <laughs> what day is it? Freaking week. Thursday. It's before I had my coffee. Something to note. This is actually a really cool, important day because we are shooting kind of the teaser, kind of style guide um, for Max Reload for our crowdfunding efforts uh, that we're going to be launching very quickly here. And uh, so this is essentially just to give people an idea of like the aesthetic and the style and the feel of the film. <clears throat> There'll be no actors in this, um, so it's a lot of just like little details that's kind of going to represent the story. So it's kind of gets people hooked. It'll be pretty fun. Um, I'm excited to essentially practice for the film today. So that's what we're going to be doing. <clears throat> but first, coffee. You get a large black coffee, three creams, three sugars on the side, and that'll be all. Large black coffee. Yep. <laughs> You're slow today. Hey, what do you like to see today? No thanks. Morning. Morning, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. What's up, guys? We're in crunch time. I'm trying to get this label figured out. I was gonna say, dude. Look, this is my ruler to measure it. That's gangbusters. Yeah, fake it till you break it. The red cartridge fits nicely in the Clico Vision system. Okay. Check this out, son. I don't know if we're gonna go red, but Ooh. this came just in time, dude. That's freaking sick. Red cartridge. OG Doom. Doom. Red cartridge. Super Nintendo. Ah, uh, dude, my mom would never let me have that when I was younger. That in Mortal Kombat. And now we get to play all the games we no, want. Whatever we want, cause we adults. I do what I want. Uh, yo, here's a rough mock-up of Eugene's gun. It looks pretty. Like Blade Runner. Yeah, it does. It's right there. <laughs> it needs some more like donguses and doodads on it, but uh. Grease it up, son. Dude. Grease the shaft. I went there. <laughs> Blame Mitchell for buying the wrong seat post. Jeez, man. The rust like right. calcified. Yeah, it's it's like the freaking IKEA wrench. This is what happens when you don't have uh, prop master. You end up fixing your own bikes for a shoot. It's gonna look badass though. Boom. <sighs> yeah. The beast, dude. Max's bike right here, guys. This is the gangster's bike you ever done seen. Oh yeah. Except for this sweet seat post. It's a real beauty. We're all packed up. We got this bike pimped out. We've got our trucks packed up. We're gonna go shoot this teaser. First location is going to be Max's uh, bedroom in the basement. It's gonna be really cool. Um, I'm excited to do this, so let's do it. So we're shooting this teaser trailer thing for a couple reasons. You know, the main reason is uh, for when we do this crowdfunding effort to be able to have it for something, something tangible for people to see um, because there's nothing worse than just saying, hey guys, you know, do you want to participate in a cool movie but you have no idea what the movie looks like. That's reason number one. Um, reason number two is just to help us, you know, be creative and kind of find the feel and look of this movie early on. It's a little bit challenging because we're still casting the film and we don't want to really show a lot that is going to sway you one way or the other on how the feel or the look of this film is with talent. Um, so we're actually using Justin for a lot of the stand-ins um, for these, you know, the hands or the bike or whatever. Uh, but it's gonna be cool because, you know, we get a practice and we get to kind of get the feel of the movie in this little teaser and show people without, you know, going through all the trouble of making the film. So that's what we're doing today. What's going on right now? Super prepared. So we are on location. Producer Jesse Lobel's old childhood room has now become Max's, Max Jenkins, Max Reload's room. And uh, we're set dressing it for the teaser for Kickstarter. All right, well, let's see if the Clico turns on. Yeah, it's actually, you know what? That might actually Are you rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. All right, we're turning the Clico. See if it works. 
Um, Woo! Oh, I don't know what's going on! Oh, I don't know what's going on! No, I mean, it's, it's old, dude. We're gonna go uh, two player? Yeah. Oh! oh. oh. What? Coleco Vision yeah. Boys. All right, here we go. Go up, bro. You can't go all the way up a broken ladder, bro. Yeah, ladder. yeah but I can, I can dodge it. Oh, I got this, bro. He's got skills, okay. He knows what he's doing. Here we go. Oh, too early. He'll be coming in over here, but smaller. right now. We are in our final location for the day for this teaser. Uh, we are Fallout Games. This is one of the awesome locations that we're going to be filming at. Super cool, very authentic. Um, we did a lot of cool stuff outside and in a bedroom. It sounded kind of weird, but it was cool and it had video games, so don't worry. All good stuff. Coming to a close. Uh, last shots. It's Red Bull 30. Pizza 45. Jeremy out. <laughs> Just finished up the Kickstarter shoot. Everything went super well. Uh, love Fallout Games, this place is amazing. Scott and I always have fun when we come here. But uh, the weekend is coming up and we are so excited to go do some fun things and relax. It's been a long week. Dude, every day we get new packages here from our awesome sponsors. Our good friend Chris Cardillo over at uh, ColecoVision also has good ties with our new friends over at Robotech. Robotech. We're big fans of their action figures, their robots. And so they sent over for inclusion as set dressing. Ooh. Jeez. This is what I was expecting was. I didn't know it would be this big. <laughs> Go this way. So, oh, so cool. <laughs> the only location that's big enough is gonna be like Fallout games up in the rafters, dude. Super excited for this new partnership that we're showing you guys today. Azio has sent us some of the coolest freaking keyboards true. that I've ever seen. This is really cool because they make very uh, special, elegant, and uh, interesting keyboards, and they're very characterized, I think. Yeah, it's so, kind of like a retro flair. Exactly. Yeah. Retro, new, kind of this whole movie feel. So we've got different keyboards for the different characters that's gonna really personify their characters. And some of these are for The Forge while we edit and produce these videos and edit the feature film. So this is very exciting very special. Dude, okay, they sent us so many cool keyboards. Let's take them all out, unbox them, and uh, give people a look. Let's do it. So, these are freaking amazingly <laughs> beautiful. I'm in love, man. I've seen so many keyboards and used so many keyboards, and I'm not yeah. gonna lie, these are so sick. This is stuff we geek out about. Yes. Being that retro but techno hybrid, right. each one being kind of for like which character. Yeah. Like, you know, who would this one be for? Yeah, right? so Liz, obviously, gamer girl, super freaking badass. Yeah. Like, she's killing it. Eugene, the old school gamer developer, like, how cool is this? This is Do like again? the most beautiful keyboard. It's got leather inlays. And it feels like an old school Dude. typewriter, high, like mixed with a really yeah. awesome keyboard, like the responsiveness. Max and Reggie, you know, are the new school kind of uh, just super cool, chic, elegant, RGB lighting, yeah. red and black, very cool, stylistic, mm -hmm. super slick. Dude, Azio. Wanna plug some in and see what they look like lit up? But first, what is this one? What? It looks oh. like it says Jesse on it. Almost forgot <laughs> it. What's up, bitch? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's oh so sick. God. How beautiful oh. is that keyboard? But go that, to your station. Hold it next to your station, incredible. man. Red and black. Uh, I sick. think it works. Be who you wanna be. Maybe somewhere you think about me too. The one guy in our office uses Max. No. Mr. Justin. <laughs> oh boy, what? Oh, yeah. elegant. Oh fierce. My Asio. gosh. What? That's sick. That is Correct. so sick. That is way better than any Mac keyboard. Heck yeah. <laughs> And Jeremy, we got one for oh, your station. Oh, no. oh my gosh, Liz! It is, even though it's pink, it's so cool, I would rock that. It oh, it so is, I know. Huge shout out to Azio. Uh, this Thank is amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for sending these. These are gonna be so killer in the film. Screen value is gonna go through the roof, just seeing And I can't wait to these. use these. Yeah, man, well, yeah, that's the exciting part. <laughs> we'll be using these um, in the film as props, but also behind the scenes while we do our edits, yep. and having a killer surface to uh, control the edit and the workflow from. Awesome. Awesome. 
Well, Sweet. So thanks guys for joining us in week 12. Hopefully you liked everything because it actually sucked. Just kidding, redoing that. Shut up. Can Do shit so I can type loudly. Dance monkey, <laughs> do the outro. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this was just full of beer right now. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Hey, oh my now, God. Shout out. It'd be awesome. Ding. Hey, video works. Can we get a sponsorship? Already have one. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, thanks for joining us on week 12. Hopefully you enjoyed all this crazy stuff we've been doing. We've got the Kickstarter launching this week. We've got Friday is a really cool party at Cobra Arcade Bar. Details to be announced that you'll find out very, very soon. I'm gonna get back to editing this because we're in crunch time. Thanks for joining us. Hit that sub button, hit that like button, comment, show some love. Bam.